morning, this guys. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. This shit just happened to me last night, and I don't plan on telling any fucking body because it is it's pretty fucking scary and it's really fucked, especially everything that's going on right now with like cops killing people. Now, a lot of you guys already know that I have a nice car, right? At least I consider it to be a nice car. A lot of my girlfriend tells me it's a drug dealer's car, right? For them of y'all don't know, this is the fucking vehicle that is in question. Everybody who doesn't know me, who sees my car before they meet me and they see me get out the car, they think that I'm like either a drug dealer or a, a fucking pimp. I didn't know that this shit would make me look like motherfucking El Pablo out this bitch probably said that wrong. Last night, I was going to my homeboy's crib because we were about to shoot a couple of skits or a couple of scenes, right? Those of you guys who've been uh, watching some of my vlogs on this channel, I started going to the gun range more uh, more often, right? And one day while I was in there, I decided that I would like, since I'm starting to shoot skits and shit, I needed uh, a realistic prop gun in order to, you know, for some of my skits that are more than likely going to have gun scenes in them. So, I bought this bad bitch, right? Now, this is an airsoft pistol, but it looks extremely real. If someone seen me with this out on the street, or if I pulled this up, or if I had this, like, in my belt, you know, and I was to flash it at somebody, like, they would think this shit was 100% real, right? Except it's not. It's actually an airsoft pistol. You know what I mean? It just shoots off the little pellets, right? When I first bought it, it was in a package, like a really, really, really hard to open fucking plastic packet. Now, I've had my car for about four months now, right? And I've never been fucking stopped. I keep seeing the police and it freaks me out why they don't fucking stop me. Like, why? Like, why don't the police fuck with me? Like, it's weird because when I was in my broke down ass car that didn't go one fourth as fast as this car does, I got stopped on the regular out this bitch. Like, when I looked like I was poor. But now that I look like I might have a little bit of money, cops don't even fuck with me. And it freaks me out because I always thought that if you had a nice car and you drove it around and shit, like, the cops will stop you just off the fact that you're black in a nice car. You, you know, I figure, okay, well, the cops will fuck with me because they think I'm a drug dealer, right? Okay, so I stop at the Walmart before I go to the homie's crib because I want to open up the package to this goddamn airsoft uh, uh, gun. Now, unfortunately for me, the packaging on the airsoft gun was so fucking tightly wrapped and thick that I knew that if I didn't get a fucking knife, to open the package, I basically wouldn't be able to open this shit up because I probably a steak knife wouldn't even got through that shit as fucking thick as it was. So I go in the store, go in the Walmart, get me a nice little knife or whatever. I end up settling on this knife, right? This bitch. Really nice, real long, hella serrated, you know, super sharp, and it cut through the fucking plastic packaging like motherfucking butter. Perfect. This is how stupid I am, guys. I you think? That I, I'm just doing a show, like when I do my videos. Nigga, I'm really this dumb in real life. This is what the fuck my stupid ass did. I'm sitting in my nice expensive looking car, because it wasn't super expensive, it just looks like it is, in the driveway, like the parking spot of the fucking Walmart. I got this big ass fucking knife, and I'm, I'm opening up the fucking package to the realistic looking gun on my passenger fucking seat, right? So I get everything open, I figure out how to, you know, put the cartridges in and all that bullshit. I get a call from my homie and he's like, hey yo, so I'm ready for you to come through, you know, like, like where are you at? So I'm like, all right, cool, I'm on my way. I was still trying to figure out how to put the pellets in the bitch, right? So with that being said, I left it all on my fucking passenger seat. Realistic looking gun, out of the case, and the motherfucking open, big ass hunting looking knife ass fucking Australia looking shit. Like a Ford, the shit you use to kill a bear out this bitch. Thick as fuck, right? All of it is on my passenger seat. So I'm driving, I'm thinking nothing of it. I've never been pulled over in this car before. I tend to run red lights, right? I, now I'm not gonna tell my girlfriend that shit and I hope she doesn't see this, but I tend to run red lights. Not just like blatantly speed through an intersection, but if it's like two o'clock in the morning, which it was in this case, and there's no cars out, no not coming either which way, and the light is red, I see no reason to stay stopped at a stoplight. So, in this situation, I am in the turning lane and I was trying to find my friend's apartment complex based on the fucking directions that he had given me, which turned out 
to fucking be just it's just infinitely goddamn wrong. So I get in the turning lane, you know, the light is red, no one is coming back or forth or left or right, so I'm getting ready to run this red light, but someone told me fucking don't. Now, usually when I run a red light, I always check my 12, my 6, my 3, and my other 6 to make sure that there's no cops around, right? So I do this, and lo and behold, there's a big ass fucking police Ford Explorer behind my ass. You know, the ones that are painted in police colors with sirens. It's like it's really, really fucking big. It's a, fuck, it's, it's a fucking SUV out this bitch, but it's a police SUV. So, of course, I decide, okay, well, it's probably disadvantageous for me to run this motherfucking light. Not going back. <laughs> now, of course, because of everything that's been happening with police, you know, and how indiscriminately they've been just murdering motherfuckers, especially black people, I am nervous as fuck around the goddamn police, okay? That's a part of our culture. If you black, you see the police, nigga, you ain't even got no warrants. You still scared as fuck. That's just how we do. Okay, so I'm, I'm in the turning lane. I make my turn, you know, and I'm, you know, going to speed limit and shit, and I'm driving off, but I'm still looking to the left and right trying to figure out which way this motherfucker's apartment complex is. And as I'm looking, I see in my rearview mirror that this cop who was in the right lane then smoothly traverses into my lane instead. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked, right? Like, I'm, I'm shit. I'm about to get fucking pulled over. The fucking knife and the fucking realistic looking gun is still in my passenger seat. It's still in my passenger seat. And like, I didn't want to like start shoveling shit onto the floor or try to pack shit into the fucking glove compartment or throw shit in the back seat because he's gonna see I'm making a lot of fucking, you know, motions and shit and I'm really gonna be fucked. Then he's gonna ask to search my car. And if I say no, I'm driving this bad bitch of a car and shit, so he's gonna bring the canines out on me. So I'm like, shit, 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 shit. So this motherfucker puts his lights on, right? Boop, boop, boop. And, you know, I instantly, you know, move into the far left lane, you know, turn my car off and shit. I'm shitting pellets. I'm like, nigga, there's no way I'm not going back to jail. There's no way I get out of prison time. <laughs> So the cop comes up to my passenger window. He asked me where I'm going, a bunch of fucking questions, right? Where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know, uh, where I live at. All of these questions that have nothing to do with this told me that the reason why he stopped me was because I was in the turning lane and when I turned, I didn't go into the lane I was supposed to. I went into the lane, the next one, and I'm not supposed to do that. Which is, you know, a reason to stop me, right? No racial profiling, that's just rules of the road. Wasn't supposed to do that shit. 100% did it, right? But I guess as he's explaining this shit to me, he sees the gun and the knife on my fucking passenger seat, pulls his fucking pistol, and I put my hands up like before I could say anything. This nigga just like shoots six rounds into my fucking chest and shit. The last thing I hear before I close my eyes, never to open them again, is my horn beeping because my face is resting on that bitch, okay? At least this is what I'm seeing in my fucking mind. Like, nigga, this is how it plays out in my mind. I'm done. I'm dead. Plus, Miss HD's dead. What's really funny is, like, as I thought I was about to be shot to death, I, I thought of you guys. No bullshit. Like, of course I thought about my girl and my family and shit, but I thought about y'all the most. I was like, fuck, man. Like, you know, because you see it all the time. A YouTuber, you know, dies or, or is gone or goes to jail or something that he doesn't upload and everyone just starts coming up with those crazy rumors about why they're not uploading. I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, man, dude, I'm about to die. What the fuck is the internet going to say about this? Like, what, like, what are my subscribers going to think? Like, is it ever going to get back to them what really happened? Or or are they just going to start making up, like, rumor videos and shit? Like, oh, he just left. Or, you know what I mean? Because it's surprisingly close to when my reaction channel got taken down. I'm like, is these niggas just going to think that I left because my reaction channel got deleted? You know what I mean? Like, so, I'm sitting there like, fuck, man. Like, shit. So, cop walks up to my passenger window, right? You know, he tells me everything I said before. You know, okay, well, you know, uh, you know, you were in the turning lane and you went to the wrong one. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, officer. You know, uh, I'm just a little bit, you know, discombobulated. And she's like, oh, so where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going to my, my friend's house. 
You know, and he's like, oh, well, where is that at? And I'm like, well, I'm looking for the apartment complex right now. Dude gave me bad directions. You know, he told me he was across the street from the Carl's Jr. It's, it's not across the street from the Carl's Jr. So I was turning around to go back the other way to look for it again. I told the police officer the, uh, the apartment complex name. And he t and turns out where he pulled me over at is right in front of the fucking apartment complex. Ain't this a bitch. I look out my goddamn left window and that's the apartment complex right there. Name clear as day. I'm like, nigga, ain't this a bitch. Bitch. So, cop is like, yeah, man, so, you know, where where you, uh, where do you live, you know, um, where are you from, what's your address, all this other stuff. I guess all of these questions are kind of to see if you're nervous or not, which, for some reason, I was nervous as fuck when the car was rolling up, but when the guy got there, when, the, when I'm talking to the cop, I wasn't nervous at all. So, I'm giving all this guy the straight answers and shit and making sure to keep my hands on the steering wheel the entire time I'm fucking talking to this guy, right? He's like, okay, well, let me get your license and registration and proof of insurance. I'm like, all right, cool. Got my license, got my registration right here in the glove compartment, but I, uh, my insurance is all digital. I do it online. Well, he's like, okay, well, if I run your shit, and, you know, and everything comes back fine, then it, you, it proves that you have insurance. Like, they can look that shit up digitally. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, as I'm giving him my license and registration, I reach over and have to get it out of my glove compartment, which is where my registration is. Now, when I do that, when I look back over at the cop to hand him this shit, he is staring directly, directly at the gun and the knife that's on my fucking passenger seat. I was hoping, okay, well, if I just keep this dude's eye contact enough, he won't even see the shit. But dude is staring directly fucking at it. Like, and there's no way, there's no way you can tell this is not a real goddamn gun. And it was dark. Two o'clock in the goddamn morning, we're not under a street lamp. And because his, the lights from his car are beaming so fucking hard, it made the inside of my car that much more dark. So the only thing he can see is the clear imprint of this damn knife and the glare of this f knife. <laughs> and the glare of this actual knife. Dude, my heart sunk into my chest. Like, I've never been so scared in my fucking life. I was like, bruh. Any of you guys out there that do extreme sports, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? When you get into a situation where you're so pumped full of adrenaline, everything slows down. Time slows down, right? Now, I got so fucking scared, shit, that, that shit happened. Slow motion. Like, I'm not saying anything, I'm just looking at dude, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, Fuck! Half of my vision is on this dude, and the other half is on his gun. Because I'm waiting for him to reach over and pull that bitch, right? So, he has the license and registration in his hand at this point, and he's still staring at the fucking gun and the knife in my passenger fucking seat. And then, so the injury, I'm wearing a fucking hoodie! Your boy looks like he's going to knock off a fucking corner store out this bitch. Maybe I can find it. Ooh, there it is. Now, what the fuck does this look like to you? I'm in the car, hoodie the fuck up, right? With a gun and a goddamn hunting big-ass knife in my passenger fucking seat. What the fuck does this shit look like? Bruh, I'm like, nigga, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, baby. I'm fucking dead. I, your boy is about to be turned into a pack. So the guy takes my license and registration and goes back to his fucking car, right? I shit you not, it was the longest fucking wait of my fucking life. If you guys remember the other story, uh, the story where I got robbed at gunpoint inside the GameStop over on fucking Shine and Las Vegas Boulevard, any of you guys that, you know, know about that fucking place, it's like across the street from uh, Joshua Villa's Projects and right behind, uh, it's right in front of uh, Cheyenne Point. Right? Anybody who knows about that place knows those are like some of the most fucked up projects in Las Vegas. I was living in Joshua Villas at the time. Terrible place. A lot of really fucked up shit happened there. I don't know how the fuck I survived it. I got more stories from that place, actually. I need to tell y'all more of those stories. But yeah, if you guys don't know about that place, please don't go down there. Okay? That place, the, the game stuff, everywhere gets robbed over there. And it's bad. Really fucking bad. I'm like, why people getting murdered? Like, please don't go. When I was living there, I got robbed at gunpoint. And they put us in the back room and duct taped our mouth shut. Anyone who wants to see the entire story, I'll put the link to that in the description down below. They duct taped our mouth shut and they put us in this back room and I'm just back there like, yo, like we're about to fucking die. Now, before they duct tape our eyes, the last thing I saw was the barrel of the gun. The only thing that I can tell you that might kind of equate to this feeling of having to wait that long, because I thought I was going to die in that situation. I'm like, nigga, I'm about to fucking die. I'm about to be motherfucking shot. You know, the only thing that I can think of to equate 
to waiting that bad, like like getting that feeling of adrenaline while you're waiting is fucking like waiting when your AIDS test results come. Like even if you know you're clean, it's you still feel like you've got the shit. Like it hurts waiting for that long. Like getting tested for AIDS and waiting to get shot in the fucking face after having your eyes duct taped. Like that shit had nothing on when this cop was in his car behind me and knew that I had a fucking a, a, a gun. Cause we're just calling this a fucking real gun cause that's what the fuck it looks like even though it's fake. Oh shit, what, am I, what, am, what if my neighbors think it is real? Oh fuck, I can't do that no more. I'm gonna get swatted during the story time. <laughs> and then they'll come in and see this gun and knife. Damn it. This was not well thought out. I'm just waiting for it. Like I'm about to get swarmed by like a bunch of cop cars and like they're just gonna have their guns drawn on me and shit and I might very well go out like Queen Latifah from set it off out this bitch like it's this is not gonna fucking end well I don't wanna make any sudden movements and move the gun knife or try to put shit away or whatever cause they already saw the shit okay the worst thing you could ever do is try to bullshit a fucking police officer because they'll get pissed and you'll really get the wet work then I just know it's fucking coming man and it's and it was legitimately like 15-20 fucking minutes man so then the cop officer comes back up to my window, right? And I'm shitting bullets. Like, I'm noticeably sweating. I am, I'm all the way fucked up. And the guy, he looks at me, dead in my fucking face, dude. He's dead in my fucking face. And he just looks at me and he's like, you have a nice day, sir. And hands me my registration and my license. No ticket, no ticket. And just rolls out. Rolls the fuck out, just drives off. <sighs> a miracle. A miracle. Don't know what the fuck happened. Not gonna question it. I, I, I drove off as well. Not gonna fucking question it. You know, like maybe this dude thinks I'm some sort of like drug kingpin or something. Noticeably with a gun and a fucking blade on my passenger seat in clear view. I almost wish he had given me a ticket so I could show you guys. I was gonna live stream this because when you get pulled up by the cops in order to not be murdered, they say you're supposed to turn on your video camera or live stream or some shit, right? The one time I forget my iPhone at home in the eight months that I've had my iPhone. This is the one time I've ever forgot my iPhone at home. I was like, fuck. I didn't want to live stream it for views, I just wanted to live stream it for safety reasons. That way, if I just get shot the fuck up, and my hands are in clear view, you know, like, people will know that I wasn't doing fuck shit. Like, that's not how I died. I wasn't doing shit I wasn't supposed to be doing. You know, I just, I have my arms in clear view, you know, I'm not resisting arrest or nothing like that. I just get fucking, you know, I just got shot the fuck up, right? But I could not find my fucking iPhone, yo. I would 100% show you guys the goddamn footage, and I would love to do that but I did not have my iPhone on me when this shit happened or I would have live streamed the whole fucking thing. Yeah, man, that, that, that shit was just so fucking crazy to me, man. I'm just like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? But yeah, man, link is in the description if you guys wanna watch the story about how, you know, uh, I got robbed at gunpoint at the GameStop over uh, across the street for the projects I used to live at when I was a kid. Well, not really a kid, I was, I was younger, I was like 18. So I was not really a kid.